In this lesson, I'm gonna show you five ways that you can add dynamics to your guitar playing. And it might just be the most important lesson you ever watch. If you wanna improve in advance beyond just playing and strumming a song with the same strum pattern, the same rhythm, the same flow, the same energy, the same everything. So, dynamics. Before getting into these five tips, I do wanna talk a minute or two um, and give some context and explain what I mean when I say dynamics and adding dynamics and, and how that looks throughout the course of a song. So if you're ready just for the five tips, um, I have a timestamp in the description of the video um, that you can just fast forward to that. All right, so dynamics. Dynamics is just really the variation with which you play a song with regards to loudness, softness, percussiveness, um, building tension throughout the, the, the course of the song, and so forth. So, for example, I could play a song at 100% the entire song like this. I could also play a song at like maybe 20% volume and power for the entire song like this. But that probably doesn't do much for you. You're probably not sitting there thinking, wow, this guy's amazing. He's incredible at the guitar. So when we look at a, at a typical song, we'll just, we'll use a typical song um, uh, just a, a song with um, the, 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 a, so, a softer intro, um, a softer verse one, maybe a little bit bigger of a pre-chorus, a little bit bigger of a chorus one, verse two, pre-chorus two, we kind of get moving a little bit. We're building into the bridge. The bridge is the biggest part of the song. And then maybe we bring it back down for that last chorus or two. So if we're looking at a typical song with regards to this, you know, 100% full on, like really going after it, we want to use dynamics from the beginning of the song until the bridge of the song. The bridge is where we're going, typically where we're going 100%. We're really cranking. The full band is moving. Um, so we want to use dynamics from the beginning of the song in really each part of the song. Verse one, verse two, pre-chorus one, pre-chorus two chorus one, chorus two, to really use dynamics on our guitar to make that bridge the most powerful as it can be. So that should give you just a little more context and a little bit more understanding to these five tips that I'm about to give you as far as adding dynamics. And for this lesson, I'm gonna demonstrate these tips by doing a playthrough of the song Waymaker, one of my favorite songs very easy song to play on guitar. It's four chords, it just repeats the entire time. So I'm gonna be demonstrating these tips in practice, in real life, instead of just you know me saying, hey, here are the five tips, go get them. So we'll be doing the playthrough of the song Waymaker at the end of this lesson, where I'm pointing out different dynamics and how I'm incorporating these five tips. All right, so the first tip is instead of strumming the entire song, finger pick. Using finger picking and doing finger picking is a great way to start out the song, the intro, the verse one, if, if the song calls for it. So if the song starts off softer and slower, start off by doing some finger picking. Everyone loves finger picking. It sounds beautiful, it sounds amazing. And it's a great way to just start the song off by building the dynamics nice and soft and slow and beautiful. And I've gone through several lessons of finger picking on my channel. So if, if you don't know how to finger pick, if you've never finger picked before, I'm gonna include a bunch of links to my finger picking lessons that go through everything of how to finger pick and how easy it can be. So even just doing something like this. Mm -hmm. 
that's pretty simple, but it's pretty beautiful. It's pretty nice to hear. So uh, I can't go through it all in this lesson, but really I'm just, I have my, my hand, my right strumming hand. Each finger is assigned to a string. So this thumb, this takes care of the top three strings, the bass notes. And then this pointer finger is always gonna be assigned to that G string, the third string from the bottom. The middle finger is always gonna be assigned to that B string, the one, the second one from the bottom. And my ring finger is stabilizing this, this whole position here with my hand. And it also gives me the ability to pluck that high E string if I want to. So this is just a great way to add dynamics and start the song off. All right, so the second tip is to vary your strum pattern. Mix it up a little bit. Don't play the whole song with one strum pattern like this. There's, there's different strum patterns that you can use throughout the course of a song. So um, I've done a bunch of lessons 10 worship songs with uh, four chords and just one strum pattern. I, I've gone through three different lessons of this where I'm teaching a different strum pattern for worship songs. So you could do. That would be one strum pattern. Another strum pattern could be. Another strum pattern that I often teach is just the driving strum pattern. So mixing up your strum pattern and varying your strum pattern is a really great way to add dynamics and add just a different feel to the song. So the third tip to add dynamics is just adding a single down strum, maybe on the first chorus of the song, or maybe on the, the last chorus of a song when you're coming out of that bridge. So don't underestimate the power of this single down strum on a chord. So let's say the chord progression is G, C, D, and we're coming out of a big bridge. that final chorus. So using those single down strums is a great way to, to add dynamics and really emphasize um, the, the chorus or whatever part of the song you're getting into. And if you do it for, let's say, the first chorus of a song, and you're coming out of finger picking, it's a really good way to kind of bridge that transition from going from finger picking the first, the intro, the first verse, the pre-chorus, into a full strum. So just adding that single down strum and just kind of some light stuff really allows you to then maybe go into verse two. A little bit more rhythm, a little bit more volume, and it just kind of eases that transition between the two. All right, so the fourth tip to add dynamics is volume control. Controlling the, the level with which you strum. Strumming hard, strumming soft. You really hold all of the the control of the song dynamics in this right strumming hand. You can apply a lot of pressure, you can, you can pick, you can go softer, just kind of like I said on those down strums. So really just controlling the volume. Even just there, playing those two chords, I'm adding dynamics by controlling the volume and controlling how hard I'm strumming. 
Um, and, and especially, let's say you're you're playing you're playing the bridge, and you, you what you really want to be doing is following the drummer. So if the drummer's really kind of building and getting into that big bridge, you know you can you can emphasize. <laughs> The bassier notes, the, the 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 strings up here, as you're kind of building that up to to reflect and kind of mirror what the drummer's doing. So volume control, you're building, you're building, you're building, you're building, and then maybe you come out of it into a soft chorus. Building, 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 building. So that volume control is a really big way to add dynamics to a song. And the last way to add dynamics to a song is just by using different chord formations and chord voicings. So instead of just playing this G, instead of just playing this C, instead of playing this D and this E minor for the entire song, whether it's a four minute song, a six minute song, an eight minute song, you know, that might get a little, um, a little monotonous and a little bit boring. So you can use different chord variations of these chords. So maybe instead of this G, you play that G. Instead of this C, you play that C. Instead of playing this D chord, you play that D chord. Instead of playing this E minor, maybe you play that E minor. So I've done a couple of lessons on different chord voicings and chord shapes using these chords. So I'll link that in the description down below just so you can see and, and, and incorporate some of these different chord voicings into your song and into your playing. Not that you need to play different chord voicings and, and overdo it, but sometimes even just by simply adding one or two different chord voicings into a song, it really helps out a ton. All right, so let's jump into the playthrough. We're doing the song Waymaker. I've done a lesson on this song before, so if you if you need help, if you need more help, um, go to that lesson. I'll link it in the description below. But I'm gonna play through the song. I'm gonna play uh, chords in the key of G with capo on the third fret, and I'm just gonna kind of dive right into it. So I'm gonna start off with just some finger picking on the first verse. Intro. You are here, you're moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, you're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, you're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are You are here You're touching every heart I worship you I worship you You are here You're healing every heart I worship you I worship you You are here 
turning lives around I worship you I worship you You are here You're mending every heart I worship you And I worship you You are way maker Miracle worker Promise keeper Light in the darkness My God That is who you are You are way maker Miracle worker Promise keeper Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 That is Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Way you make me record Promise me Light in the darkness My God That is who you are Way you make me record Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are.